All right, guys. This is going to be it. This is the Casmus Narok Star League. And we are in the round of eight. This is game number five between Beast and Killer. If you haven't seen the other ones, they are paired up a couple games each uh, on the previous couple days of VODs that have been released. And yeah, this is this is kind of crazy, right? Like we've had a lot of aggression, a lot of games decided by the Zerglings overall, some by Mutas. But what is going to happen here? We're on Ultimate Stream, definitely a very different map. We're cross spawn, so it's going to make it harder to kill your opponent. Obviously, you have to attack up a ramp into the natural, which makes it a bit harder as well if they do have enough Zerglings to make that uh, that ramp hard to get up. So I feel like we're going to have a longer ZVZ, but what truly is a longer ZVZ? This is something that Socrates pondered many, many times over the years. And a longer ZVZ, I would say, is something that gets up to 11 Mutas. <laughs> 11 Mutas is late game ZVZ. And then, of course, uh, maybe once a year you have pros that get into other tech than Mutas. And it goes for a very long game at that point. But it is rare indeed. All right. So, looks like both sides are probably going to be going for 12 hatch. Which, again, does make sense. Their overlords going in the wrong directions thus far as well. So, I mean, are they going to find each other quickly? No. Are they going to get damaged? No. Uh, we'll see if they make any drones after the hatcheries. I guess that's the most interesting part of these build orders. Like, are you hedging and being a little bit safe? Are you going to be even more greedy and try to produce more drones? And the answer is they're going to go pool immediately. Makes sense. Almost never see otherwise uh, in Zerg vs. Zerg. So the Overlord's getting into these other naturals. Uh, so eliminating one location that their opponents could be in. And, you know, if an Overlord was coming to scout them, the Overlord has higher sight range than a hatchery that's being built. So you wouldn't know, actually, uh, if your opponent is in, like, for instance, for Beast, if Killer is in the top right, he wouldn't know because the Overlord would peek in and then turn around. Right, spawning pool and extractor on both sides. So very, very, very mirrored builds for these two Zerg pros right now. We get on that gas immediately on both sides. Looks like they're within about a second of each other as far as these build orders are going. The Overlord's starting to head in a little bit on both sides. Oh, this one actually went forward and then turned around. That's kind of interesting. Looks like maybe it's even on a little bit of a patrol. Trying to make sure no Zerglings are running across the map or anything like that. <clears throat> that Overlord being sent up as well. Alright, both sides making some Lings now. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Only a couple actually being made uh, right off the bat there from BC. He's going to pop a few more. Seems like just a little bit more Zerglings being made by Killer here. Both sides are getting their layers as well as the Zergling speed. So, nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, but we do have Beast with a two drone advantage. So, if he maintains that for a bit and no damage gets done, that's going to be amazing for Killer. Notice he is making that arc that I was talking about. You're on top of this ramp. So, it's a pretty big ramp overall. But you still can make this arc that's on high ground, which is a little bit annoying for your opponent to attack into. Now, he's made the arc and he's actually making nothing but Zerglings right now and setting them behind. Let's see what Beast is doing. Beast starting to make the arc, making more lings as well. Yeah, it looks like both sides are going to go pretty heavy on the Zerglings, but that's that's common, right? Like, what we'll probably see is a couple more drones made and then a gas taken here. Uh, but on this side, we're actually down a couple drones the entire time. So it feels more like Killer might really pull the trigger. Notice he's not even making a Spire, whereas we do have the Spire being made here uh, for Beast. So it is a little bit later. He's really traded a lot of his economy and his tech here to get a lot of Zerglings up. The Overlord that's going to be peeking in, he's going to see very shortly here that there's no drones at the natural. And that's going to give away what's happening. Here we go. The Zerglings flooding across immediately here. Now, does Beast have enough Zerglings of his own? He's building nothing but Zerglings right now out of his eggs. A couple of them are actually in here. He needs to send these Zerglings down to that natural. Uh, two Zerglings sent out in a round for Beast. Okay, here we go. Killer wants to attack up, and here we go. He is going to start attacking up. Beast 
going forward right now with his set of Zerglings. Drones coming up to fight as well, but he has a lot in the main base. A huge mistake. A huge mistake here from Beast. How are you supposed to hold on if you have six Zerglings not in the fight? He starts to trade poorly, so it goes even worse than expected for him. Oh, this is brutal. He has got to be kicking himself as Killer is going to kill off so many of these Zerglings. More coming out of that natural hatchery, but definitely a better trade at the beginning here for Killer, who is behind the mineral patch, getting good trades here once again. Four lings left over in this main base, looking for any damage that he can get. Oh my god, he's going to get a drone. Two drones right there going down. Killer getting a big advantage. Oh my god, just barely not getting this one. Only one Zergling hit left. More lings coming across the map right now here for Killer, who is now up two drones after all of that. Muta's starting to pop out. Looks like there was a bit of a counterattack, so he actually ends up losing some of his own a little bit of equalizing going on here from that counterattack of Beast. A lot of foresight in him. To Remember, he sent those two Zerglings up the side over here uh, for a counterattack. And those ended up doing fantastically for him. But now Beast is down a single drone. Both sides starting to make mutas. There are a few Zerglings still out. The economies, though, terribly small. Terribly small on both sides, which means even that one drone advantage is pretty gigantic for Killer. I mean, when it's nine against eight, what is that? Like 11% bigger economy. What a silly thing, nine versus eight, to have such a large percentage associated with that. Really the only matchup that functions like this in the game. All right, we have those extra Scourge being made. Of course, when you're this poor, the Scourge going to be worth quite a bit since they don't cost many minerals and your gas... Uh, income isn't really going to change at all in these situations. Now, getting on top of some of these lings, looks like uh, Beast wants to pick off another Overlord. That's actually a big kill right there. That supply blocks killer, and of course, you don't want to be making Overlords at the moment. That is a painful thing indeed. Now, going in behind the attack here of Beast, is Beast too far out of position? He's going after another Overlord. Doesn't quite do it. Some Zerglings going for a counterattack here for Killer. Oh my god, we don't actually have any units in here whatsoever. He's sending back his Mutas, but that's going to be a little bit late. We could actually see some drones killed off. Oh, Lings popping out just in the nick of time. One of the Lings actually getting stuck on the Extractor. So Killer's counterattack, I like the idea, but it ends up doing nothing at all. All right, Killer here killed off a couple Lings himself. So they both had a similar idea. Five mutas and a bunch of scourge against on beast side. Wow, look at that. Seven mutas right now. So it does feel like he's done a good job uh, producing as many mutas as he could afford, but he is still down that drone as well. Let's not forget. So I don't want to count out killer yet, but the supply differential uh, is going towards beast a fair amount. Now, six mutas here. More scourge being made. Two more mutas going to be popping here for killer as well. All right, so we're going to have 8 Muta against 8 Muta here momentarily. Of course, Scourge on both sides. We have 8 Scourge. Ah, I can't click. 8 Scourge. All right, let's see it. How is this going to end up going? Killer coming up and damage already being dealt. That is some drones going down 8 to 7 now. Beast takes that drone advantage. Is up in supply still as well. This is a crazy game right now. Like, neither side can really afford to make much of anything. Beast trying to add in a couple drones. He has so many Scourge with his Mutalisk Flock right now. Killer going to try to come in on top of everything. Right now, Beast just running away. Okay, he's up at 10 drones against 7. But he did just get supply blocked. Still has more supply than even what Killer's available supply is. Couple lings trying to get in for some harassment. Look at how few drones are mining. We have four drones mining for killer here. That's like nothing. Oh, and here we go. This is going to be the engagement. Oh my god, the Scourge actually getting gunned down very quickly. A lot of Scourge still left over here for killer. Beast might be taking the bad end of this fight. It looks like we actually have an additional Muta over on the side of Killer as Beast tries to back up two, three of his Mutas extremely low on health right now. Killer might be able to get the killing blow here despite being down economically at the moment. All right, Beast turns around to fight. 
He does have more Scourge that are about to pop, but is he going to lose all his Mutas before those actually come out and get into play? The, oh, it's so low right now. Ling's popping out, going for that counterattack, but it looks like Killer with five left over is in a demanding position here. He is going to be able to kill off all of these drones and so little left over. Like a few Scourge are being made at the natural. The drones being killed off. The Scourge coming in. Can Killer connect with any of these? Ooh, he is taking a lot of Scourge hits, but still has those two mutas as well. A big Zergling counterattack. It looks like we're getting into a base trade. Five drones against seven. Four against seven. More being killed off right now. The Scourge going after Scourge because he can't kill him with the Muta. And finally, they do all get killed off. But back at home, a single Muta here to help against these Lings. It looks like Killer going to be up two drones at the end of the day. More Lings popping out. Look at this. It's four drones against five right now. Just nothing as far as economy goes. This one Ling staying alive. Did get another kill, amazingly. More Lings for Killer. Are we actually... Like, we got so reset on the economies that we're back into, like, just Lings. Four Lings against five. This is basically what you start the game with, is what they're playing with at 11 minutes. What an insane game right now. This one Muta, though, getting on top of the drones. This could end up actually being it. We don't really have the anti-air. He's trying to mine some gas to be able to afford Scourge, but he can't even get the 75 gas, which means Killer, I think, is going to end up taking this. The Ling's trying to make something magic happen, but with enough Ling's here for Killer. I think that Beast has been reverse swept in this Zerg versus Zerg match. And, of course, that means Killer going to go on to the round of four in the Narok Star League. Fantastic comeback, truly. And with these links coming across the map, I mean, you have to GG. Nothing left here for Beast to do. No economy, no anti-air. GG. Killer advances.